Well, hello everyone. Hi. I'm just gonna drink some water and be live. Just kidding. It's time for another fertility hot seat. Yes, that is what we are doing today. Fertility hot seat. So here's the drill. You got a request to join me live. Hit the plus button at the bottom of your screen. Request to join me live. And at random, I'm going to pick one of you to come on and get a free 15-minute fertility consult with me. Hard stop today at 1245, 1250, because I got to go um, pick up my child from camp. So go ahead. Start requesting to join me live. So here's how it works. This is not medical advice. This is advice based on my almost 20 years. Is that crazy? 20 years of clinical experience, 20 years of helping women get and stay pregnant. The last 10 years I've been writing these books above me, um, two in the space of fertility that sell all the time to women all over the world. One is called Yes, You Can Get Pregnant. The most recent one is called The Egg Quality Diet. And my team and I, I now have a team of people. My team and I help women all over the world and in our clinics. We have clinics in New York City, Nyack, New York, and in Westport, Connecticut. So we are everywhere helping all of you bring home your dream baby. So what you guys got to do is request to join me live. I don't see, and I see people saying they're so excited, so excited. Now hit, hit the plus button. Someone come on. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, now I see you guys rolling in. I'm going to give it a few more seconds, and then I'm going to pull on. All right, here we go. You guys are all rolling in. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to choose you. Because I did see you comment. That is a, is a key, guys. If you comment on the post when we say we're doing hot seat, you're more likely to get picked. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm grateful that you're here. Thank you. Thank um, you. Tell me what's going on. I saw you comment, so that's why I was waiting for you to request because I saw you come on. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to uh, pick this girl today. Um, tell me what's going on. How can I help? So uh, 42. Okay. Seven. Trying to conceive, had uh, five miscarriages and a failed IVF, PCOS, low ovarian reserve. That's okay. Husband's good. We've been tested back and forth. We're going to okay. be testing again because we are going to try to pursue IVF in November of this year. Okay. And um, were the pregnancies natural or with IVF? No, uh, they were with fertility treatment, not through IVF, they were timed into course. So we had the fertility meds and the monitoring, but we didn't have the actual IVF. And then how far along were you with those loss losses? Like how far along was the longest? Period? I never make it past the nine week mark. Okay. Right? So it's very early and it's a day I suspect it's because of a placental defect in development of the placenta. Okay. And um, have the embryos or the tissue been tested to see if there's chromosomal abnormalities or not? Yes, so we were able to test when we had our first IVF cycle, which failed, and they were minor, minor chromosomal abnormalities, mostly pointing toward the placenta, not necessarily the embryo. Okay, and what about the miscarriages? Were you able to test any of the tissues there? No. Okay. No. And yeah. have you had like an autoimmune workup or an immunological workup? Yep, everything is completely fine. And have they done like the complete clotting factor panel? Like it's like 30 something, 18 different vials of blood. Have you gotten that done? The miscarriage panel? No. Okay. No. That's one of the first things I would get done. It's called the okay. miscarriage panel, um, also known as a clotting factor panel. I actually have a Google doc that I created okay. um, that complete clotting factor panel. Um, I can find it for you though too, but it's literally, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 things that they test for. So it's significant. So um, when, we, when we hang up on this, mm -hmm. you'll D I can't DM you because okay. we're not friends, but DM me and then I'll reply with this doc and you can just take this to your doctor. It's a Quest Lab workup. So it tests okay. for all. And then if any of these come up, you talk to your fertility doctor about it and and basically they're hopefully they're willing to treat you they'll either use baby aspirin with transfer or once you could be pregnant which i would recommend no matter what if you're trying naturally mm -hmm. or doing time dinner course anything like that throw a baby aspirin into your mix right. and then i would also they might 
if you have one of these clotting factors, then you might need to add in like Lovenox or an, a blood thinner, an injection into the beginning of the pregnancy. Which because, plus, go ahead. That, they did that during the IVF cycle. That was the first time that I'd ever had that. Okay. And you didn't get pregnant with the IVF? No. Yeah. It, okay. Okay. So they're onto something. So that's a good start. That's what I would say there. Then the next things I want to think about is the PCOS and like managing blood sugar. Like, are you on ovocetol or myo-inositol as a supplement? Yeah. I'm on myo-inositol with myo-chiro. Yeah, chiro, d -chiro. Yeah. Okay. I'm and on. how much are you taking so a day? Take two scoops. Okay, perfect. In 12 ounces of water twice a day. Okay, perfect. The and morning. Then, go ahead. Morning and night. Okay. And then what other supplements are you taking? So actually, I started the egg quality diet together with my husband. Great. Thank so you. We are, we're on day 30, 31, I think. Do you still like me or no? <laughs> I love it. Okay, good. I love you. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Because for as tough as it is, I've learned so much. Oh. Like I could eat salmon before, yeah. no problem. And then after doing phase two detoxing, somehow I cannot eat salmon. That's interesting. It doesn't stick. I, and like it gives you loose bowels or something? No, I vomit. I can't keep it down. Fascinating. Okay. Yeah. Can you take fish oil? Fish oil I take and chia seeds I can take. So I get some omegas there. Okay. And with sauerkraut. There are certain things that I'm just reacting to that I never knew before. So I'm feeling kind of sucky and blah for years. Okay. I okay. really quite got to a point of doing this as an elimination diet. And now I'm really paying attention to the point where this makes me feel like garbage or this makes me feel good. Okay, good. And so that's a big difference be to, before heading into the next IVF, correct? Yeah. Okay. So I'm, we're doing that, both of us. He's, of course, taking a little bit more calorie and protein intake. Yeah. yeah. We're basically structuring it based on the, that diet for me. And then okay. he's, he's okay. adding more. Okay. And so, weight wise for you, are you at a good BMI or? So right now I'm at a 30. Okay. Okay. And where were you in the past? Pushing 40. I'd lost. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's great. Okay. So that's another good thing. So we can see inflammation's coming down. You're yeah. probably absorbing nutrition better. So did you have a lot of like kinks and or red flags and now they're going away? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. I used to be able to have things that made me difficult to breathe. I would just feel sick for two days. I couldn't digest. They would be up or out. I would okay. feel tired all the time. Now it's changing a lot. That's amazing. So the okay. broth is making me feel good. And if I do eat something that I have a reaction to, I stick to the butternut squash soup because that's oh, like the best I know. Thing. The best too. It tastes so good. <laughs> it tastes so good. And it's, I keep it down. So okay. if I'm able to keep any food down, I usually take two of those. Okay. Just Okay. So but, the other thing I would think about introducing, if you haven't already, and someone commented too, which I think is a great comment, is um, digestive enzymes. But I like them in the form of, it's called Wobenzyme, W-O-B-E-N-Z-Y-M. Okay. And they're called proteolytic enzymes. But what they are, and you'll see, if you search it on Amazon, like uh, Garden of Life makes the one that I like the most, it's they'll say for joint pain, but it's really because it's a powerful anti-inflammatory. Okay. And but women with recurrent pregnancy loss, it's actually shown to help reduce inflammation. You take it through the first trimester and it's helped with, it's a small, it was a small study, but it's helped like, I think it was 50 or 60% of the women in the study actually carry those pregnancies. Like they made it further along than they ever had before. Okay. And I think it has something to do with breaking down infl inflammatory substances in the body. So that's something else I would consider adding to your protocol and making sure that I know you said you're taking fish oil, make sure you're taking like three grams of fish oil a day. So I take a, yes, I take that and it has EPA and DHA in it. Okay. And take the fermented cod liver oil. oil. Okay. The regular prenatal um, CoQ10 ubiquinol for easy absorption, vitamin D. Like okay. I've read through the book front Good. cover, front back, okay. I'm taking supplements i'm also doing the e3 live live mm -hmm. e3 live. okay perfect and when i add into my smoothie i add in some maca shatavari and chia seeds okay. and a little bit of like royal jelly okay okay that all sounds good yeah and um yeah and so my, my team is on here too they just commented you guys can find all the recommended supplements under 
Amy's recommendations yeah. on my website, but I would add in the Wovenzyme. Um, okay. And then it sounds like you're doing everything else. Are you taking the liver pills? I know you're doing cod liver. Are you doing the liver? Yes, I'm doing the an ancestral supplements beef okay. liver, and I'm also adding in the fem, the feminine one, which also adds a it's little the bit. the ovary in it, right? In the yeah. uterus? Yeah. yeah, I like it. I like so, it. I okay. actually was just emailing with them today because I'm like, I want to start having all your supplements on my site because um, my Dr. Ron's liver pills are out of stock again until November. So I think I'm going yeah, so, to. Yeah, I checked those first because I went through the list that you mm -hmm. have and I found that alternate. And then so I got those for me. And then my husband also takes the liver ones and the bone marrow as well as the MOFO for him. So I take the fam. He takes the MOFO. OK, amazing. So, okay. The, the fertility issues are on my end, yeah. but we're figuring with him, let's just do everything to boost whatever he Listen, can. Listen, it's but, like, it, it appears well, to be on your yeah. end entirely. We'll never clearly know, to be honest. And I always say, like, we can always make sperm better. There's no harm in that, right? You know, right. And for him no. to feel healthier, too. It's like we're just it, giving all our goods to this baby, right? Yeah. Um, and so, okay, so you'll do the clouding factor panel. Mm -hmm. And I think the Lovenox with any, like you say, you find out you're pregnant naturally before you start this next IVF. Like I would do, and if you're trying, but if you're trying naturally to yeah. add in the baby aspirin okay. after you ovulate, once you could be pregnant, and then also consider like, if you get a positive, I would call oh. that fertility doctor right away and be like, I want to start the Lovenox. Like that's okay. like kind of have that protocol in place for you. Okay. Um, and then how are you doing on like the mental emotional front? How are you feeling there? So honestly, like it's been like an emotional roller coaster of like part depressed, part beaten, part everything. But then since we decided, okay, we're going to give IVF one more try instead of rushing into it as soon as possible. What if we take some time to try to heal internally? Okay. So that's when we started to do this diet. I read the PCOS diet, the, it, it starts with the egg. And then I did, um, we decided on the egg quality diet okay. and it's like, let's give ourselves a hundred days. Let's just okay. do it. hardcore. Okay. okay. And our are we still forward. trying in the meantime? We're we're trying, but not putting so much pressure on it. Okay. Because then I feel like that would just yeah. stress me out. I agree. Then um, we added in the magnesium baths for me, which I had no idea of. I didn't even know that was a thing. And I have never slept better in my entire life, which is a huge thing. Because yeah. I would, this would be running all the time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So and what I, are you doing for this? Like for the mental support? Are you? I journal and I okay. meditate. Okay, good. So. Good. Do you have people you can talk to about everything you're going through? Or my support? family's amazing, and my husband is the most incredible human being I know. Oh, so like guys, him. yeah, good. Yeah. And, and you believe, right? You, I mean, yes. you, you must. You're here. Okay. This is it. This is it. November is it. So. Is it? Okay. Yeah. And then, so tell me, like, you know, we have a few minutes left. What are some like burning questions you want to ask me? I basically just wanted to ask is, uh, is there anything extra that I should be doing? Yeah. Or as uh, should I be adding something? Uh, I would add, like I said, the woven enzyme. Uh, yeah. The baby aspirin for certain, like every, because are you ovulating regularly with the PCOS? Now that I've lost a lot of weight? Yes. Okay. I was before, but okay. I am. Okay. So, so uh, I would just get in the habit. Oh, I ovulate. No. I'm going to start taking, it's a low dose aspirin, 81 okay. milligrams. Of course, check with your doctor, but yeah. as far as I've ever seen, you know, 20 years of experience, there's no real contraindications. Um, and I would take that, I would add that into the mix and then, you know, just keep doing all the things you're doing diet wise, supplement wise, add in that will enzyme, get that complete clotting factor panel done. You can get yeah. that done ASAP, honestly. Okay. And then, um, yeah and between now and november i mean you never know what could happen too which would be yeah so i guess my only vice that i have a very hard time let's say yeah. i think is tea i i need a cup of tea in the morning otherwise i can't function <laughs> i think that's okay so yeah. i always say one cup of caffeine a day is perfectly fine and healthy it has to be organic like I, yeah. i'm into tea these days too in fact i have my morning tea up here i like steep my own tea leaves i get the raw organic ones yes. Um, I, never, I don't do the raw. I get the organic ones. I don't. I said raw. Loose is what I meant to say. <laughs> um, and add the collagen peptides to it. Have it with a little coconut milk, so you get a little fat in there. Sometimes I even add a little bit of ghee or something like that if I want extra oh. fat. But one cup of coffee or caffeine a day is perfectly fine and is not going to negatively impact your fertility. Okay. Then. And then you're sleeping better. And how about yeah. movement? Are you moving your body? Yes. Okay. Yes. 
Yeah, we take walks around where uh, we live here. They have like a whole walk path that goes around. Okay. We do that. And are you connecting with the baby and like talking to it, calling it through? Do you feel anything like that? Or is uh, that... Well, that's part of the journaling. So let's okay. say I'm getting wishful thoughts for a future. Good. I love it. Yeah. And I think too, like practice, like go through your life and just kind of like in your home and look at things and be like, Oh, I can't wait to share this with you. Or like when you guys are having your fun of just like, yeah. see how fun it is here. And, and, you know, like we can't wait for you're the cherry yeah. on top. We can't wait to bring you through, but just that kind of like start to imagine your life too, of what it's going to look like when you are pregnant, when right. baby is on its way and, um, yeah, and I just think, like, play that game a little bit, kind of be more in that, like, playful mood versus, yeah. you know, the gripping so tight, like, when is it going to happen mood? Yeah, so we've definitely shifted from, and I completely get it, and I can empathize with everybody, now at this age, it, it and having tried so long, every month feels like a year. I know. Every two months feels like 10 years, but it's the idea of, let's say, maybe have an IVF now in September versus waiting until November when we will have finished the 100 days. Maybe that makes all the difference. And we just wanted to know that for whatever may or may not happen, yeah. if you ever get asked, did you try this? Did you try this? Yeah. Try this thing? We can yeah. actually say yes. We have. That's it. You want to be able to look back and be yeah. like, I, I did do and not so yeah. like all the things in that like check off the boxes way but just like i showed up the best i could for myself yeah and i'm proud of exactly. how i showed up for this yeah and 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 i and you know from what i can see you know and i feel like it's a lot of experience it it, it does seem to translate into you know and you're still there and you still yeah. have the hope so keep that hope alive yeah i'm 42 i know it feels i know i know you've been at this a long time but you do have time is still on your side i'll say that that's good to know because when we initially started this uh journey with fertility treatments the yeah. thing that they would tell me was you're too old you're too fat you're too old. and it was just depressing from the very beginning yes. we wanted to fight and we needed the profession but the professional the, but it was oh, you're too yeah. and then by the time it oh, wasn't too fat, definitely <laughs> What I say to all of them is fuck off. You are yeah. not too fat and you are not too old, no matter wow. where you're at. Like, it's just, it's just such shitty messaging. It just is. Yeah. But, you know, I'm sorry you had to go through that. Um, but it's, it's you taking back the power over yourself, right? And stepping back yeah. into your power and the two of you doing this together. And, you know, we get to see how it unfolds. Yep. Okay. I'm well, excited. I'm excited for you. So um, F off is right. That's my team yeah. saying um, yeah, healthy at any weight. That is our motto, you know, and also healthy at any age, you know, I have women, you know, honestly, six, seven years older than you who are doing it with their own eggs. And why can't you, you know, that's, that's uh, and I have 42. I just did a post the other day of one of my clients who's 42. And mm -hmm. previously, we couldn't get any normal embryos. She had one miscarriage with an untested embryo that they had transferred. And it, five IVFs she only made it to transfer twice because she never got blasts in the other three and then she worked with me same thing she was like I'm putting everything on hold I'm doing the 100 days I'm in this full-blown two PGS normals she got now she's 42 and a half almost 43 and then we just transferred and second beta was yesterday and we're doing we're doing it oh, that's good. Makes me, that's yeah good. so I mean but also she's almost two years older in this process and um you know, it goes against everything that we're taught, like, well, eggs can not improve. It's like, well, I don't know, she just did it. So why can't you do it? You know, I, I just, you know, we can definitely improve as we age. So yeah, so and I look forward to continuing. And I definitely look forward to actually keeping those good, healthy, organic non pesticides and no trans no preservative habits. When? when yeah, really. that's it. That's right. it. When? So because no, this is for baby too. And I think about that. I think about yeah. like, you're laying the foundation for their life. And exactly. so I do think spiritually, sometimes they're like, I need you to be here because I need you to be this kind of mom for me. And so it's just, you know, just trusting in the lining up of all the things. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm excited for you. So DM me on the, the back. I call it the back end. I don't even know what that means. Just DM me on yeah. Instagram and I'll send you this it's a doc of the clotting factor panel of all the things to get checked. And so okay. that way you can take that to your doctor and get those run. Okay. okay. That's something that he can do also or only applicable to women. It's only applicable to, to the host, to okay. the vessel, you know, you're the one carrying the child. And so gotcha. the clotting factors impact implantation and the ability to carry the pregnancy. Understood. Okay. Okay. Perfect. All right, my love. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 
Thank and you. um yeah i'll hear i'll hear you on the dms okay absolutely good okay. luck thanks bye bye